Hello students, I am Sumati. I am working in GK Jain School. Today I teach the lesson for 10th standard social science economics part. The lesson name is Gross Domestic Product and its Growth and Introduction. What is the meaning of Gross Domestic Product GDP? In shortly GDP. What is the meaning? GDP. The GDP is the market value of all the final goods and services produced in the country. Market value of the final goods and services produced in the country during a time period. Goods and services. Goods are tangible. Services are intangible. We will see gross domestic product and its growth. GDP definition. First we will discuss the definition. GDP gross domestic product represents the economic health of a country. GDP represents the economic health of a country. It represents a sum of a country's production which consists of all purchases, goods and services used by individuals, firms and foreigners and the governing bodies. The monetary value of the finished goods and services produced within a country border in a specific time period. GDP is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M. C for consumption. I for investment. G for government expenditure. X minus M. X for exports. M for imports. This is the GDP equation. C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Next we will see the methods of GDP calculation. There are three methods we calculate. Expenditure method, income method and then value added approach method. We will see one by one expenditure approach. Expenditure approach in this method, the GDP measured by the adding expenditure of all the goods or the final goods and services produced in the country during a specified period. The different types of expenditure are shown in the equation y is equal to c plus i plus g into x minus m. Already we know that c plus i plus g into x minus m. Income approach. Second method. Income approach method. This method looks at the GDP from the perspective of earnings of men or women who are uh, involved in producing goods and services. The income approach measuring GDP Y. Y denotes the income. So Y is equal to wages plus rent plus interest plus profit. Incomes uh, like by the way of wages, rent, interest and profit. Third one is value added approach. Value added approach. This is the third method of GDP calculation. A cup of tea served to you in a hotel is a final good. Cup of tea served in a hotel is a final good. The goods used to produce it, tea powder, milk and sugar are intermediate goods. Since they form, uh, they form a part of the final good. Uh, the cup of tea in the value added approach. The value added by each intermediate good is summed to estimate the value of the final good. Uh, next one is we will see the importance of GDP. Uh, there are uh, seven importance in GDP. Study of economic growth. GDP helps to unequal distribution of wealth, problems of inflation and deflation. Next one is composition with developed countries of the world, 
estimate the purchasing power then public sector to guide economic planning gdp guide the economic planning next we will see the composition of gross domestic product composition of gdp the indian economy is broadly divided into three sectors which contribute to the gdp namely primary sector or agricultural sector industrial sector or secondary sector territory or service sector we will see one by one what is the primary or agricultural sector production of raw materials such as cattle farming and fishing mining forestry these are called uh, primary or agricultural sector next one is industrial sector or secondary sector in which the goods or commodities are produced by transforming raw materials important industries such as iron and steel industries jute sugar paper etc then territory and service sector this is the third composition of gross domestic product territory sector is known as service sector it includes government scientific research transport and communication trade postal and telegraph banking and education healthcare centers etc now we will see the growth of gdp and economic policies growth of gdp in this lesson we discuss about now growth of gdp and economic policies many economic policies have been formed by the government of india since independent for increasing rate of economic growth economic development the important economic policies are many policies number 1 agricultural policy number 2 industrial policy number 3 new economic policy some other policies in india like trade policy employment policy currency and banking policy fiscal and monetary policy wage policy population policy gdp growth of india in 2018 is projected at 7.3% and india is fifth fastest growing nation of the world just began in bangladesh thank you students